Vikings Pale Kelly the Ghost Dowling Kelly in the last fight surprised me by actually I jamming him so it's going to be a jamming contest at the beginning whoever can establish a jam I think the best is going to really just set the pace for this fight both have landed their jab in the first round good body shot by Pavlik as Taylor missed over the top with the right hand good jab by Taylor right and in addition to dropping his hand Has Kelly Pavlik and now Jermaine Taylor. Contest in that round. Probably Kelly land his signature punch, which is a jab followed by a right hand, and, it's, and Jermaine really got caught. He didn't do anything wrong with just perfect left jab that obstructed his vision. And Jermaine has a tendency sometimes as without jeopardizing himself by leaving himself too open. Well, right right hand. Hand by Taylor. He left himself open that time. And if you don't, Kelly will slowly take control of the fight again. Left hook. Right hand, very similar to the right hand that caused all of the damage in the first round in the second, uh, se se second round in the first fight. It's almost identical, too. Alec for 66 punches. That's the pace at which he really likes to fight. Chopping left. Hard right hand by Taylor. Both like to operate from punchless distance. Chip. That's some good right hands to win the first round. Tudo. Good left hook by Pav. Needs to keep working it. Hard right hand by Taylor. That's what happens when he lands his jab. Good left hook by Taylor. See, even though Kelly Hard has right it. hand by Pavlik and another. Taylor jabs again to move him back. Another hard right hand by Pavlik and Taylor. Not that easy, but uh, Kelly has a hand. Not as his fault, just not seven rounds. Right hand by Pavlik brings blood from Taylor's nose. Left nostril now leaking blood. Hard left hook. You see Kelly Pavlik once again landing this left jab. I mean, notice the gloves are not even closed. It's more than just a camouflage. He uses it to blind you over your left eye before he lands his right hand. Sir, from Taylor, who seemed to be trying to catch the rest in the middle of the round. And now great of Kelly Pavlik. The dynamic explosions of Jermaine Taylor. Kelly, Kelly can't match the main for hands for he knows it. Hard left hand by Taylor. Stop Pavlik in his tracks. In addition to everything else, both fighters throw 15, 20 unanswered shots. Now the body flurry by Taylor. Jermaine up all the time. Good shot by in a right hand. Taylor lands a big right hand shot. That's a bell. Skill to be able to follow, fight intelligently. Once John McEnroe said to me, I got more talent. One left hook by Taylor. Another good left hand by Taylor. Rips Pavlik again. He hasn't been hit with too many right hands. Hard right hand over the top by Taylor. In the fight. Also, he's did a good job of blocking right hands, too. Good body shot by Taylor with the left. Tries to come back with the right. Stopped himself from the first fight. Definitely, he's not only he's redeemed himself. This round may be up the grabs, but Pavlik may be putting his input on. You can see, falling in a few times, and he went to the ropes for the first time, and this is what happens. A vicious body shot underneath instead of throwing a regular one-two to the head, and I think that took a lot of energy out of Jermaine.